This is the Essex County Resource Recovery Facility in Newark, New Jersey. This $400 million power plant burns through 3,000 tons of garbage a day and turns it into electricity. The trouble is, when the garbage arrives, it's as soggy as an Irish bog. And you can't make electricity from wet garbage. So all the soggy Guinness hats are shoveled into a drying chamber. A drying chamber like nothing else you've ever seen before. It looks like a nightmare vision of the future, and sorting out all of the condemned garbage is a suitably terrifying monster. They call it the claw. Two of these titanic 22-ton grabbers speed the drying process by turning and airing trash until it's ready to burn. This giant airing cupboard holds over 17,000 tons of garbage, divided into three sections, each the size of a basketball court. While one section is taking on the new wet garbage, the other two continue drying the waste to feed the fires of three incinerators. From the control cab almost 100 feet up, claw operator Romeo Academia has been sifting through the mountain of trash for years. Drying takes up to seven days, then the claw sends the junk on its journey to destruction. Paul tracks the trash as conveyor belts introduce it to the incinerators. The three blazing infernos reach up to 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit, burning as much as 220,000 pounds of garbage an hour. That's almost as heavy as the steel used to construct the Statue of Liberty. Ash tumbles down a series of rollers to an extraction system where any metal is removed by magnets. The inferno heats a towering 165-foot boiler which works like a giant tea kettle. Water runs through an immense maze of pipework, where heat from the furnace turns it into 100 tons of steam per hour. The high-pressure steam is piped up to the massive turbine room above the boiler. The two 35-megawatt turbines that generate the power are each the size of a double-decker bus. The steam spins the turbines, which convert their movement into enough electricity to boil 20 million tea kettles.